Rescues tell me there's a lot of work that goes into caring for puppies that have been exposed to the Parvo virus. These five puppies all tested negative, but they still have to be in isolation for the next two weeks. To have to put on this fancy black trash bag. Handling a puppy exposed to Parvo requires a lot of caution. And this is what we go through every time. A makeshift gown, shoe covers, and gloves, just to enter the small bathroom where these five Chihuahua puppies call home. The reason we're taking such sterile precautions is it can, the parvo virus can live for a really long time. Um, if it's in the dirt, it can live for, you know, a good year or so. So you have to be really careful. The 38 rescued puppies were split up among local rescues. Sharon Griesman is with Connor and Millie's Dog Rescue. They say taking in even a single pet is difficult, let alone five. It's a network of fosters who, who take these dogs on, um, bring them into their homes, give them what they need, often out of their own pocket. So far, Sharon anticipates spending several hundred dollars caring for the puppies. And if any develop the parvo virus, it could cost thousands of dollars to treat. That's why she's hoping more people in the community will step up, become fosters, or help a local rescue in need. I can't emphasize enough to, to get involved, get involved with the community. It doesn't have to be with this rescue, but with, with a rescue. Um, and, you know, if, if you're able to, you know, help, donate, volunteer, volunteer your time. All the rescue groups as, as a whole had to, you know, put forth and, and take a piece of the pie to make this happen. Cassie Molnarek, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.